Today we change the engine oil and filter and reset the oil life indicator on the 2019 Toyota Camry 2.5 liter engine. First thing we pull up the front wheels on ramps, engage the parking brake and chuck the back wheels. As you open the hood you'll see the dipstick and the oil filler cap. Taking off the oil filler cap and pulling the dipstick about halfway out will help the oil drain out faster. Wait for the engine and exhaust to cool down some before sticking your hands in there. So let's go over the tools and parts needed. We'll need 4.80 quarts of 0W16 full synthetic oil, oil filter, oil pan and funnel, 10 millimeter socket for plastic pan cover, 14 millimeter socket for the oil drain plug, an oil filter adjustable plier, a torque wrench for the oil plug, mechanics gloves and some hand cleaner and check the description for all the links to these parts and tools. To get to the oil drain plug and filter we need to remove the four 10 millimeter bolts from this plastic cover. Once the cover is out of the way you'll see the oil drain plug and on the passenger side of the pan you can see the oil filter. Line up the pan under the plug and loosen it using the 14 millimeter socket on this ratchet. Unthread by hand and let the oil drain into the pan. By the way, I like the way this drain plug was designed to pour straight down, instead of the ones that are on an angle and which can overshoot the pan and make a mess. Once it's all drained, thread the plug back in. Next, using the adjustable filter plier, loosen the filter counterclockwise. Let it drain into the used oil pan as we finished unthreading it by hand. Wipe the filter housing and make sure the filter seal didn't stay stuck on it. Then take your new oil filter and spread some oil on the rubber seal. Line it up and slowly thread it on clockwise. Once the thread is caught, keep spinning until you feel resistance. Then tighten it three-quarter turn by hand. If it's hard for you to turn it a full three-quarter turn by hand, use the filter plier to finish it, but do not over tighten it. Then using the torque wrench, tighten the drain plug to 30 foot-pounds. Finish cleaning the spilled oil, so when checking for leaks later, it will be easy to spot if any. Now, the plastic cover can be screwed back on with the four 10 millimeter screws. To avoid stripping them, tighten them by using the 10 millimeter socket on an extension only. With the funnel in place, pour 4.80 quarts of 0W16 synthetic. Take out the funnel and screw the filler cap back on. After backing the vehicle off the ramps, check the oil level. Now to reset the change oil warning indicator. Start the vehicle. Using the arrows on the left side of the steering, we need to get to the vehicle settings. By depressing the right arrow, you see a menu pop up just below the letter P here. Keep scrolling to the right till you get to the gear icon. Then scroll down till you get to Vehicle Settings and click OK. Then scroll down to Schedule Maintenance and click OK. Scroll to Yes to reset the data and click OK. And the reset is complete. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you along the way. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. See the description for links of tools and materials used in this video and you all have a great day.